So now let's see how we can work around with the connection lines that we have right here. If I were to go around and bring in any line right here, you can see that this is a straight line. And then if you want to go around and add in details, then you can see that in a straight line, there is this middle point right here, which I can click and drag around to add in more curvatures just like this. You can go around and then bring in curved line as you can see and add in details just by using the same technique over here as well. And there's different sort of lines as you can see right here and there's something like link right here and so forth just like this and you can see that there is different options over here for such lines. But for this regular line here itself as well, over here on the right hand side you can see lines just like this. And whenever we bring in some shapes and then click and drag around, you can see that the same line is over here as well. So here right now, if I were to click and drag this out, you can see that this is what you have. And you can go around and uh, click around, let's say for example, let me just undo this out right here. This is what you have. You can go around and add in some details just like this as well. So now when you work around with the lines, you can see that I can go around and select out the type of line that I want right here and the line will be converted accordingly right here. So I'm just going to go around and select this or this line right here. You can go around and change the type of line right here and the color of the line over here just like this as well. So you can go around, increase out the size of the line right here, just like this as well. And you can go around, straighten it out over here as well. You can go around and select out different sort of line details right here, just like this as well, by using out a preset over here. So here you can see that I can set up even more things right here, like I can add in an arrow over here to the end, just like this as well. And over here in the end, I can go around, add in, let's say, for example, a point over here, just like this as well. And you can control out the size of them as well. That's like line jumps right here. You can go around and then add in an arc and so forth right here and change this out over here as well. So this is what you have as you can see just like this and you can add in shadows and make it look like a sketch over here just like this and edit out its opacity as well. If I were to go around over here onto this um, uh, shape right here, you can see that this is the curb line just like this and you can see that it says curb. So even if I were to select this, it is sharp right now, but I can go around make it rounded. So this is sharp and I can go around make it rounded over here just like this. And then you can see that as I bring in uh, the details right here, it's rounded or you can go around and make it curved over here as well so that you get the curve view for this as well. Uh, well, whereas for the curb line, we, we can go around, turn it into sharp just like this as well. So that is how you can go around and then um, you know, edit out connection lines and work with connection lines. And same with this as well. You can go around, make it curved over here as well, and then apply the same uh, 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 same properties that we applied right here. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.